Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to share with you guys 10 things that you can declutter right now. These are really simple things that won't take a lot of time to do. If you are a reader of my blog, then you have already seen a sneak peek of this because it was last week's Minimalism Monday topic. For those of you that aren't readers of my blog, it's always linked down below. It's just chasingthelook.co but I brought back Minimalism Monday in October. So every Monday I do a minimalism related post. So the first thing are books. Now I really love reading and every once in a while I do like to go through my books and make sure that I'm getting rid of any that either I have and I've had every intention of reading and I've never gotten around to because if I'm being honest, if I haven't gotten around to reading it yet, I probably won't. Um, or books that I've already read and I know realistically I'm not gonna read again. The next thing are t-shirts and these are another one that I feel like just collect so easily. You can get them through fundraisers and school and work events, sports teams. They're really cheap at the thrift store. They're just available pretty much at all kinds of events and they can be free or cheap. So I feel like we all kind of end up with a lot of them. And I personally don't really wear t-shirts out and about very much. Um, I like to dress a little bit nicer for work than that. And I really mostly reserve them for working out and sleeping in. So it just doesn't make sense to me to have a huge collection of t-shirts when I only use them for those purposes. So what I did was just pay attention to through one laundry cycle, so from the time that I wash everything to the next time that I wash everything, how many t-shirts did I use in that span of time for pajamas, working out, and wearing out of the house? And that gave me a good guideline of how many t-shirts I should have, and I was able to let go of the extra ones. The third category of items are travel containers. So there's a whole slew of travel containers, but the ones that I mainly noticed that I tended to accumulate were makeup bags um, or those little plastic reusable bags that you can put your liquids in and they're see-through. Um, the squeezy tubes or bottles or jars that you put liquids into. I had a bunch of extra contact cases. Um, all of those types of containers, I just had way too many of them. And again, they're an item that they seem really useful and functional, but once I actually kind of just took some extra effort to uh, notice how I was packing and what I was using, and I really developed a good system for packing, it became really obvious that all of the rest of those items were excess and they weren't really useful even though they seemed very functional. I wasn't using them with the way that I was packing, so it didn't really make any sense to hold on to them. The next one is towels. I found for myself that four full-size bath towels is the perfect amount for me. If I have three towels, I tend to run out just a few days before I do laundry. And if I have five or more, then I never end up using all of the towels. So I found that four is the perfect amount for me. The next item are bed linens. So in college, I had an extra set of sheets um, because I thought I should. And my mom has a linen closet full of extra sheets and blankets and so does my grandma and so do all of my extended family. And that's just a thing that I grew up thinking you were supposed to have extra bedding. And in college, it became really clear to me that I did not need an extra set of sheets because when I washed my bedding, I would take it off my bed go wash it, dry it, and then make my bed again before I go to sleep that night. And if I have the extra set of sheets, what ends up happening is that I take all my dirty ones off my bed and put on the clean ones, and then instead of washing and drying the dirty ones and putting them right back on, they just sit in a dirty pile in my closet. This one is super, super easy because you don't even have to like sort through anything, um, but you can get rid of CD and DVD jackets by switching to a DVD binder. So this is what my DVD binder looks like. It's just a simple black binder. It's got a handle on it and it zips closed to protect everything. I got this off of Amazon. I think it was between 10 and $15, so super affordable. And I love how much space I have saved by using this. This next one is super quick and it'll take you just like five to 10 minutes. If you have a cabinet in your house where you keep medicines like ibuprofen or cold medicine, Take everything out, do a quick wipe down of the cabinet, and then check to see if anything has expired. An area of my wardrobe that was often neglected when I was cleaning things out was my sock and undergarment drawer. I sort of um, assumed that there wasn't a lot of excess in there, but actually there was. I checked for socks that didn't have matches, 
socks or tights with holes or runs in them and anything that had really worn out elastic that wasn't really functional anymore and got rid of all of those. The next one is junk mail. So if you have a pile of mail sitting somewhere in your house, go grab it, quickly sort through it and anything that is junk, recycle it right away. And then anything that you have to act on, set it in a to-do pile on your desk or wherever you handle those things to be done within the next few days. Whenever I check my mail, I make a habit of right away sorting it over my recycling bin so that I can just toss anything that I don't want or need. And then anything that I have to act on like a bill, I will put on my desk and I will make kind of a deal with myself that I'm going to complete that within the next two or three days. And that way I never have a pile of mail just stacking up somewhere in my house. And the last one is a tech clean out because that can get neglected as well. So if you haven't done this in a while, go on your computer and clean out your downloads folder. And then when you're done with that, empty out the trash on your computer. Those are my 10 things that you can declutter right now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment to let me know. Also share in the comments any other quick areas that you can clean out. So anyone who is looking for some ideas, share down below so they can get those from you. Don't forget that my Minimalism Monday blog post will be linked down in the description box if you want to check those out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.